homeowner turned the tables on a bad guy. They say he got a hold of a robber's gun and shot and killed him. Brett Buffington is at the home in Southwest Houston. What are investigators telling you at this hour, Brett? Mia, so often these kind of stories do not work out like this, but according to police around 3.30 this afternoon, this guy who lives at this house was in his garage doing some work when another man, according to investigators, walked up and said, this is a robbery. The two men, they got into an argument, they wrestled. The homeowner was able to get the gun away from the suspected robber and then use that gun to shoot and kill that suspected robber. He died at the hospital. Tonight, homicide investigators, they are here in this neighborhood. They are questioning that homeowner, but according to police, they suspect this case will likely go to a grand jury to make a decision whether that homeowner should face any charges. Police certainly uh, thankful that that homeowner is okay tonight. He was not injured. Again, talking to homicide investigators here tonight as they continue to put the pieces of this case together. We are live in West Bay. That robbery suspect was shot and killed on Luddington Drive near West Airport in Hillcroft. Yeah, this is in Westbury, and ABC 13's Marla Carter has just arrived at the scene. She's got the latest live. Marla? <laughs> That's right, Melanie. Just got an update from police just minutes ago. Here is a live look at the scene. They tell us that around 3.30 this afternoon that a man was working in his garage, inside of his garage there doing something, and that's when the suspect approached him and said, this is a robbery. He then displayed a gun. There was a struggle, a tussle over that gun. That's when the homeowner got the gun from that robbery suspect and actually shot the robbery suspects. He did die at the hospital, and of course, this case will go to a grand jury. But again, that robbery suspect shot by the homeowner with the robbery suspect's own gun when he was able to get it away from him. Uh, homicide detectives just arrived here a short time ago. Uh, still a very active scene, but that is the latest from police. Uh, just getting that update moments ago. Of course, we'll have an update for you coming up tonight at six o'clock. Reporting live from Westbury, Marla Sorry. Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Uh in southwest Houston, a homeowner protects his home and his life with deadly force. He says a man tried to rob him in his garage, so he shot him. That happened on Ludington near Hillcroft, just inside the Beltway. We have our Jacob Rascone on the scene in that neighborhood tonight. Jacob, the homeowner, saying that he was able to disarm the robber, then use that gun to shoot him. Yeah, Bill and Dominique, police say that's exactly what happened. He was able to wrestle the gun away from the robber and then shoot him with his own gun. And tonight, HPD have been questioning that man going on three and a half hours or so right here in the back of this patrol vehicle. And that is standard, we're told. It happened at about 2.30. The robber simply drove by, parked nearby, and then got out, walked up to the man who was working on his car inside of his garage, and then attempted to rob him. That's when a fight happened, we're told, and when he was able to wrestle the gun away from the robber and shoot him. The only thing I can think is, you know, he just drove down the street, saw the gentleman inside his garage, and thought that was a victim. So the would-be robber was then transported to Ben Tob, where he was pronounced dead there. We're told that usually in these cases what happened is that the homicide detectives will then talk to the district attorney about how they want to continue. And usually a grand jury will then look at the case to see if any charges will be brought. Tonight we're live in Southwest Houston. I'm Jacob Rascone, KPRC Channel 2 News.